Welcome to the Camper Dan Files. My name is Chris. In today's video, we are going to pay a visit to Telephone Cove. Wow, this is a van lifer's dream down here. Yo, this is nice. Look, you got all of that over there. Well, I'm gonna drive around first. Man, this is nice. Look at all the birds, guys. You can tank camp. Got a couple of van lifers. Oh, this person has a canoe. Yeah, you got the trailer. Wow. Yeah, this would be a good place to bring Daisy. Hell yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's a nice ultralight. That's a nice one. You got the fire. Ooh, this is nice. This is a van lifer's paradise. Look at the ducks. Ooh. Man, this spot is gonna, man, come summer, I guarantee this place is gonna be packed. That's why we need to come down here sooner than later. Okay. Telephone Cove. So this is the Nevada side of Telephone Cove, guys. Across the water there is Arizona, and there's another space for you to access on that side. On the Arizona side. I yeah, the Nevada. water's flat too. Look, it's a good place for solar. There's moss. That's a nice rig. What's up there? I don't know. You want to see? Yeah. Because uh, there might be more privacy that way. Or is that for not for these kinds of vehicles? Well, we're about to find out. Oh, we just found our campsite, guys. So there's a little roadway that we came in on. And this just opens up. Here's my R50. And here's the water. And look, we got us some little seats. Yeah, this place is happening. Man, this is so nice. Uh, some little girl left her shoe behind. We'll make sure we get that out of here. But yeah, look at this. We have this little peninsula right here. We can go chill out on that rock. Man, look at this water. Look at all the birds. It's like a sanctuary here for these guys. Wow. Telephone Cove, guys. So back this way, we have a couple of trailers. Even a tent. So this, this is definitely going to be a place where we're going to do possible overnighters or multi-night uh, stays. At least two or three nights. This is awesome. <laughs> Man, these guys are all over the place. He must be the one with the food because they're chasing them. Maybe these guys were fighter pilots in their previous life. 
Oh, that's so cool. So yeah, we're just here on the uh, water, just relaxing. We're gonna have dinner here in a little bit. Nothing fancy, we're not cooking. My wife ordered me to be minimalistic today. So we didn't bring anything to cook with. No, you know, groceries and foods that we have to cook or anything like that. We're just simply gonna enjoy the fire, have a few salads, some snacks, and then just enjoy the scenery behind us. Um, it's about 514. The sun is just about gone, as you can see. And um, there's a few people here, but we're all spread out. We're all able to enjoy the space and pretty much do our own thing. So uh, stick around, guys. Yeah, like I said, the only thing that I would have changed about today was just getting here early. That or all. I wouldn't change the location, though. So tonight, we're camping like uh, van lifers. <laughs> we are all crammed in here. There's our neighbor there. And there we are. I mean, there's really, really not that much space left. Definitely more people here than there was when we first came here last weekend. We just simply would not be deterred. And over this way, can't really see them that well, but there's campers over here too. There's the moon. We don't usually like to be in the front of anywhere where we camp, but this time around we had no choice. We had to get in where we fit in, literally. So here's Camper Dan. Here's Daisy. Here's our shower house. And here's the water. We are literally on the shore of Lake Mojave.
having a nice delicious cup of coffee enjoying our morning view on the lake even our pooch knows how to camp in style <laughs> hi money you enjoying your your dog house it was my wife's idea we usually keep this thing in the garage when she's out there hanging out with us but it works out here on the campsite too That's where we slept last night. On the other side, a few selective people have left, but a lot have stayed. A fellow cargo trailer camper. <laughs> I think that's so cool. I'll be tent camping. And then there's us. Should really check this place out. This video does it no justice at all. Over here we have a boat. And then another boat. Got a duck down on the tree friend here. Last time we were here, we seen a coyote up on this ridge in the daytime. I'll also put a clip of that in the video as well for you guys. Oh man, guys. Up on this ridge, there's a coyote. It went behind this cut bank. Oh, there it is. There it is. Oh my goodness. Wow. You better watch out. Oh, this is be careful. Oh, it's a spider. Oh, he's checking us out. Well, she. I think this is a female. It looks pregnant. And the crazy and probably the scariest part of this whole thing is that this animal is not afraid of us <laughs> at all. Where'd he go? It came down. It's behind that bank. see something fun just look up just look at this guys this is going on right above our heads here
but there's everybody else on the other side of the cove. And this is what the birds are doing above us all. That is an impressive group of birds. A very impressive group of birds that just showed up here over the cove, guys. Are you, are you seeing this? This looks like a scene out of birds. Except these, these guys are friendly. I don't think they want to do us harm, but if you were here and you seen this live, it'll freak you out. I just happen to look up and see these guys. I mean, look at this. Some of you guys, you gotta be outside. This is what this is why I do this. This is why I come outside. So we can see stuff like this. That's nuts. my delicious plate guys hash bacon and eggs Putting a little bit of this McCormick on here. Yeah. You need a few more, as a matter of fact. I want one of those kind of things. Maybe with like a refiner. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you like grill marks? Yes, we do. That's how you know it's been grilled the right way. That's true. That is true. This is how you want your fire, guys. No flame, just a nice hot bed of coals. Let the heat do the work, not the flames. Otherwise, they'll end up burnt. Look at this plane making the right bank, guys. Check that out. That is so cool. Wife just stopped putting my burgers together. Mm. Um, <laughs> what's going on here? Oh, uh, must be on. You put two bottoms and two tops together. Do you want some pickles? Yeah. I mean, just one. These are supposed to be zesty hot zingers. And um, I expect them to be quite hot. Mmm. Yes. Load me up, please. <laughs> That's good. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Playing the game of dominoes. I'm currently spanking everybody two to one. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm the champion. No, you're not. So why are you making that stink face? Because I know you're not. Because I'm winning. No, you're not. But I'm the champion, like I said. My wife is cooking tonight. Here we have some uh, stew beef that we're going to use to uh, make some fajitas. 
wife is just making some tortillas to go along with our stew beef. Mmm. It's so delicious, guys. Sadly, I'm not going to film myself eating this because it's just too dark out here. And I'm hungry, but... Yeah, she said she got tired of waiting for me when I ran to civilization and get us some uh, provisions. But I think she got things handled. I mean, good night for a better meal. Mm. The moon, guys, is just begun to rise. And look at it, that shimmer on the water. Isn't that gorgeous? So we're all packed up. I'm gonna go ahead and hitch Daisy and um, we're gonna get out of here. Thanks again for stopping by the Camp of Dan Files. My name is Chris. If you've enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And while you're at it, don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe.